Hello everyone, welcome back to a Yorkshire Gamer and today we are continuing our Build the Bismarck series and we're on the fifth episode now and in this one I'm going to get the basic colours on most of the ship. So this is where we are and where we left it last time. We've got our uh, primed ship ready to go. Our base is as done as it's going to be uh, until the end of the build and uh, we've got all our other bits and pieces on the nails all primed all ready to go so what i'm going to do today is uh, i'm going to uh, use this as my uh, template this is from uh, sovereign hobbies now this is probably the bismarck that you are all familiar with with the um, black and white stripes going all the way up to superstructure now that is a pain in the ass to paint uh, and do, uh, even with decals. So I'm going to do this version. Call it cheating, I call it common sense. So uh, this is from it, uh, Bismarck Operation Reinebung, um, arrival in Norway early May 1941. So we've still got the um, camouflage or dazzle or whatever you want to call it along the hull of the ship but the top of the ship has been uh, painted uh, hellgrau uh, which is standard uh, german uh, ship color and uh, the top of the turrets are a dark gray now um, you'll see lots of pictures with red and, and yellow and the red swastika on the deck and a colored over swastika on the deck lots of reasons for that uh, some of it to do with uh, obviously not showing a swastika in certain countries in in the world, and other bits, the lighter colours or the more pronounced colours uh, would often be painted on the ships when they were within air coverage of a uh, German held territory. So uh, once it got out, or uh, once a ship got out into uh, the Atlantic, it would switch to the grey turret tops and uh, to make it less visible uh, to its own uh, air force which of course as we know Germans didn't have an aircraft carrier uh, there wasn't anything around so this uh, this guy from Sovereign Hobb Hobbies is really good uh, I'm sure you can see there we've got all the uh, colours names so it's a really nice uh, template for me to use so that's what I'm gonna go for uh, paints wise um, I have got this set, uh, which I've shown before on the channel, but not in this series. And this is from Life Colour. They do camouflage sets for various navies from uh, World War uh, Two. I've got the Italian one. I've got uh, a couple of British ones. And this is the German one. And uh, some of the colours that we're, we're looking for here, the Hellgrau 50, uh, the Duncan Grau 51, and the Dunk, plain Duncan Grau are all in this box the rotten boat uh, is the for the under part of the ship, which we're not obviously going to do. And then we've got a couple of lighter variations that I'm not going to use on this ship, but would be used on destroyers and the like. These are absolutely fantastic for airbrushing. A little bit less light on the pigment for uh, brushing on with a brush, but I'm going to do virtually everything um, airbrush from now on. And, and just a little bit of a a word about that i know that a lot of you out there maybe don't like airbrushes or don't want to use airbrushes um but i've got to the stage now with this ship where really there is no other option but an airbrush to get the the camouflage on and to get the smooth paint on that i want it just would not work brushing the paint on so there we go that's all the chat gonna do so i'm just gonna show you now in this episode the, getting the basic paint paint applied getting the basic scheme on the ship minus the decals and uh, that will be it for this episode so let's uh, cut the chat and switch the airbrush on so first up we're going to do the uh, main part of the hull, which is this colour here. It is a different colour from the superstructure. And we can see here from the guide, we're looking for Dunkel Grau 51. And uh, I've got that out here. And uh, it's a slightly bluey grey is probably the best way to describe it. So I'll shake this up and uh, load the airbrush up and we should be back in a second. 
Okay, so we're ready to go. We've got our Dunkel Grau 51 in there. Now, if you remember the scheme, the ends of the ship are going to be black, but I'm not overly concerned about getting that 100% right at this point in time. I'm just going to leave the ends black to remind myself that uh, maybe I need to do something on that later on. And uh, just crack on and uh, get this finished. Ooh. So I have uh, done the Dunkel Grab 51 on both sides of the ship now. And the next thing that I need to do, or I plan to do, is uh, to do these little white false bow waves um, on either end of the ship. And to do that, I am going to need to use some of this stuff, some masking tape and craft knife and uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to put some uh, masking tape on here approximately where the uh, the band is, the, the difference between the uh, lighter grey and the darker grey. Uh, to give myself a, uh, a cut-off point. So I'll just quick, I'll put that on and show you in a second. So there we have it. I've just uh, stuck the masking tape down over the border of where the dark and light grey are. And I'm wanting to put a, a white false bow wave in, in this area here and it can be quite confusing doing masking tape to start with what you need to try and remember is that you're cutting out or you're leaving bare the bit that you actually want to paint which in our case is around here so i'm going to take my craft knife and i'm just going to cut out the bow wave there and i'm being very very gentle when i do it i'm going to do it off camera because i can't get it to focus um and uh, make sure that you're not cutting into the paint line underneath. Uh, so um, I shall just do that now. I'll, I'll, I'll record it and let's see let's see if it does work. Um, let's bring it in there and uh, so what I'm trying to do is just to lightly score the section that I want to be white and just lightly go over that again so as I say what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to not cut through to uh, underneath and if you've done it right it should just peel back nicely there we go and uh, I've done all this by eye and guesswork really um, based on uh, the uh, photograph that we've been looking at and using as a reference and uh, as you can see I've already done the same on the other side I need to do the same at uh, the rear of the ship as well and that's going to provide a template for me to uh, do the next bit of dry brushing so sorry not dry brushing airbrushing so I should be back in a second uh, when all those are done and I need to do the next bit so with the uh, bow areas or the false bow waves done um, on front and the rear, uh, it's just simply a case of uh, airbrushing in those in white. Now it doesn't matter if we go wrong on this side because this is going to be airbrushed later on. Uh, so I shall just... Oh. So there we go, we've got all our four false bow waves in and uh, just going to put that to one side now and uh, let it dry before we put the final part of the camouflage on. So I have uh, left everything to dry and as we can see there we've got our 
white areas at the start of the bow so what we're going to do now is just mask off that part there that's going to remain white leaving this area at the front of the bow and stern that we are going to uh, spray a darker color so it's just basic very very basic just get some uh, masking tape and uh, just continue along that line that we've already uh, start oh he says it's easy and then gets it wrong and, uh, to make sure that we're covering the areas that we um, want to leave as white I say that with the with masking that is the hardest thing well for me anyway is to get your head round what you're masking is what you don't paint and what you leave off is what you do paint and when you get some of the more this is fairly straightforward to be honest but when you get some of the more uh, complex uh, dazzle camouflages on particularly on the British ships uh, it makes it quite difficult so I'm going to go around and uh, do that for all four corners and uh, we'll be back in a sec so that's um, all masked up now uh, all the different ends so ready to put the next colour on and uh, if we go back to our diagram that we're using we're looking now we've done that bow wave uh, false bow wave and we have masked off this area here so we've just got the ends of the ship uh, both ends to paint and this is down as a colour called Dunkel Grau 2 now I haven't got that that's one that I don't have Dunkel Grau is uh, quite a dark grey and um, this is it here so it's not quite as dark as that so I'm just going to add a couple of drops of uh, black into that uh, to uh, to get the colour and uh, I'll load the airbrush up and back in a sec so there we go all ready to go again and uh, it's just a case of uh, Spraying in the areas that we haven't already covered. So up at the front and uh, sorry I'm blocking the site here on I do apologise. There we go. So if you notice with this I'm keeping the uh, ship hull at an angle so that any um, excess spray is not going on to the uh, deck of the ship below uh, so I'm kind of spraying at an angle so that the uh, any excess doesn't go on to the deck and that is uh, that's looking pretty good we're fairly dark there I didn't think it was going to be dark enough but uh, as it's drying that's looking pretty good so I'm happy with that uh, and uh, we'll just give that a few seconds to dry and then we will hopefully reveal our completed uh, scheme on the bottom of the ship so here we go with the moment of truth uh, we shall remove our masking tape and if uh, we've done this properly and we've let the surface underneath dry then uh, we will not have any uh, paint coming off underneath our masking tape there we go i think that's pretty pretty decent we'll look on there's a little bit of a bit missing there uh, probably just come off as i've pulled off the uh, masking tape and uh, i'll go in and do a tiny tiny little bit of refill with um a paintbrush just to uh, fill the bits and pieces in uh, I'm relatively in fact I'm extremely new to this uh, airbrushing and masking and building big models so you know I'm not an expert in this but I think the uh, HMS hood that I did I think that uh, come out pretty well uh, so there's the the front bow let's turn that right way right way up yeah i have to say i'm happy with that i'm happy with how that looks uh, so that's how i've done that little bit of camouflaging and uh, 
or scheme and then the uh, the black and white arrows on here are going to be decals so uh, we'll cover that later on in the build videos but for now um i have finished on the lower part of the base so i've just got that to take off obviously next part is going to be doing the main uh hull parts uh sorry the main superstructure parts and if we go back onto our screen we're looking at uh Hellgrau 50 for virtually all of them, apart from the turret tops that I'll need to do with a little bit of masking uh, later on. And uh, here we go. Here is the, the very paint, Hellgrau 50. So uh, I shall finish all that off, uh, load the airbrush and uh, do one of those speedy up things of me painting the um, superstructure. So everything has now been finished and uh, sprayed in the Hellgrau 50 and uh, that's the uh, the box that you're quite used to seeing now with everything on and uh, if we just go back to the hull uh, we can see the uh, camo that we did earlier on and then on the top I have just sprayed Hellgrau the uh, grey pieces of the superstructure that are on the deck uh, so that they can be added in later on. Lots of ways you can paint decks, you can get masks and stuff. I'm going to go through that in the, in the next uh, video. Uh, but uh, all I do is just put a flat edge up against there as I'm spraying to make sure I don't get any bleed over onto the bits that we've already done. And uh, there we go, that's uh, a base for later on. So all I'm going to do in the rest of this video is just the last bit of airbrushing, which is going to be the turret tops. So if we go back to our template here, we can see we've done all this bottom part now, minus the decals, and uh, we've done all the top superstructure. Uh, with the Hellgrau 50 and then we just need to uh, put dark grey, kind of the Dunkel Grau 2 dark grey that we've got here on top of the, the main turrets and on the secondary turrets. Now I've seen some pictures where some people have done them on the tertiary turrets as well but I, I, can't, convin I can't convince myself that they are um, dark topped. Uh, this is probably one of the better photographs that we've got of Bismarck um, at sea and you can see the top of the main turrets there quite clearly it's halfway um, up the turret we can see the dark on the top of the turrets there but the detail isn't enough to see the tertiary turrets so I'm going to leave the top of the tertiary turrets still uh, silver hell ground uh, and uh, do the top of these so uh, we'll get all the bits that we need before we carry on so for this next bit i've just uh, got an old uh, model box and i've moved four main turrets and the six secondary turrets onto here and first thing to do is get them masked up uh, which is going to be a right pain in the backside uh, so i'm just going to create uh, the areas or cover the areas that I don't want painting with the darker grey and uh, we'll be back when I've done that. So here we go we're all masked up for our turrets and uh, we're just going to spray the top of them this darker much darker dunkle gold colour and uh, oh, I'm not sure whether that's dark enough. Let's, uh, now I'm going to need a little bit more. Oops, a little bit more black in that. When you're making the colours, it's always better I think to uh, start lighter than you think and then go darker if required so I've just added a couple of uh, blobs of black into there uh, just to see if we've uh, got our 
crack colour now. And it's blocking up. Yeah, that's looking a, a lot better now. We are considerably darker. So there we go. So I shall get these done and uh, come back to you in a minute when we're finished. So here we are. We've got all our uh, turrets done now. I'll just uh, slide off the masking tape. And what are we doing with those? It looks perfect to me outside, but uh, that's a little bit small. Let's do one of the larger ones. Oh yes, that's uh, that is the business. That is exactly what I'm looking for. We've got the darker turret top and the lighter turret base. Nice neat line around it. That is absolutely perfect for what we're looking for. So, um, nearly coming to the end of this video now. And we'll just have a look at uh, what we've done to date. So we're looking a lot more like the Bismarck now. We've got uh, some colour on. We've got uh, some camouflage done. And uh, we're ready to uh, kind of get things moving in terms of uh, putting it all together and getting it ready for the table. Uh, so the next episode, well, I'm going to... Uh, fix the sorry i'm going to look at painting the wooden decks that's the next stage that we need to look at is getting the wooden decks done and then once the decks are done we can start putting detail on top so i'll see you soon on part six of build the bismarck